Hello children. Today we will discuss about the events or steps in respiration. In respiration, so there are five steps. For our convenience, we divided the respiration process into the five steps. For the easy understanding, we divided into five steps. So what are the five steps or events in the respiration? First step is breathing. Second, gaseous exchange at lungs level third one gas transport by blood next fourth one gaseous exchange at tissue level and last one cellular respiration so these are the five steps present in respiration process did you understand the steps in respiration i make you understand with a simple explanation let us see the process of respiration contains five steps there are five steps in respiration i make you understand these five steps with the help of the diagram see the diagram we take the air by the nose we take the air by the nose in the air useful gas is present so that is very useful to us that gas is oxygen gas what is the symbol of oxygen o2 is the symbol of oxygen gas air enters into the nose through the nose and afterwards it moves to the enter into the pharynx and this is a windpipe windpipe is also called trachea and these are called bronchi 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 divides into many small small branches they are called bronchioles at the end of the bronchiole a sac like structure is present all bronchioles end with the sac like structures for our convenience this structure i am drawing here so this is the sac like structure it is called as alveoli alveoli is a plural and alveolus is the singular lungs are made up of many alveoli see here when we take the air into our body that air means oxygen entered reaches to the lungs inside the lungs what are there alveoli are there oxygen entered into the alveoli so now for our convenience i drawn this alveoli here outside see here oxygen entered into the alveoli if you see the structure of alveoli alveoli is covered by a surrounded by a small blood vessel so this blood vessel is called what you call blood capillary so this blood vessel is called as blood capillary a small blood vessel is called blood capillary inside the blood capillary what is present blood so here in the blood capillary blood is present so this is the blood now oxygen move from alveoli to the blood oxygen moving from alveoli into the blood now this blood carry the oxygen gas from here to our body is made up of many cells so this blood carry this oxygen to every cell of our body so for our convenience i will draw one cell here so this blood carrying the oxygen to the cell this is the cell our body is made up of many cells for our convenience i am drawing only one cell see here blood carry the oxygen gas to the cell here oxygen is there inside the blood inside the blood oxygen gas is there now cell will take up the oxygen gas into the inside it so oxygen gas taken up by the cell already inside the cell glucose is there glucose is the simple food glucose is there cell will breaks down the glucose now with the help of the oxygen gas by using the oxygen gas cell will breaks the glucose molecule and what it will release carbon dioxide and energy will be released cell will utilize the oxygen gas to break down the glucose and it produce the carbon dioxide and energy here inside the cell carbon dioxide gas is produced whatever the carbon dioxide is produced again it is entered into the blood then by the blood it will move into the blood capillary by the blood capillary it enters into the alveolus from the alveolus it passes through the travel through the windpipe by the windpipe it is going outside so this is the respiration process now i make you understand about the five steps what is the first step first step is breathing is the first step taking air into the lungs and 
moving the air out of the lungs is called breathing so what is breathing the process of taking in oxygen from the environment and giving out carbon dioxide is called breathing so this is the first step air is moving into the lungs and air is moving out of the lungs oxygen is moving into the lungs and carbon dioxide is moving out of the lungs that is called breathing breathing is the first step what is the second step see the second step gaseous exchange at lungs level here second step means here this is the second step when oxygen entered into the body it reaches to the lungs lungs are made up of what alveoli oxygen is there now in the alveoli now oxygen move from alveolus to the blood whatever the carbon dioxide is there from here it is coming here like this whatever the carbon dioxide is there inside the blood that will move from blood to the alveoli so that means exchange of gases means oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs between the alveoli and blood so that is the second step next come to the third step what is the third step gas transport by blood see here gas means which gas see here oxygen gas entered into the blood so it is a second step next in third step what happens by the blood so this oxygen gas moving from alveoli to the cell then after that cell will utilize the oxygen and produce the carbon dioxide so this carbon dioxide move from cell to the by the blood it will move to the alveoli see here oxygen moving from here to cell and carbon dioxide moving from cell to alveoli oxygen is moving from cell to moving from alveoli to cell oxygen gas and carbon dioxide produced here that is moving from cell to alveoli so this is the direction oxygen moving from alveolus to the cell and movement of carbon dioxide from cell to the alveolus so this is the third step gas transport by blood next what is the fourth step fourth step is gaseous exchange at a tissue level see here so here fourth step will be there see here oxygen is transported by the blood and it is reaching to the cell here oxygen is there imagine it is here oxygen is there now cell will take up the oxygen then it utilize the oxygen to break down the glucose and carbon dioxide will be produced then carbon dioxide will be entered into the blood so that means there will be exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and cell how see exchange of oxygen from blood to the cell and exchange of carbon dioxide from cell to the blood so this is the fourth step what is the fifth step fifth step occurs inside the cell so that is the cellular respiration what is the fifth step cellular respiration cell will utilize the oxygen gas to break down the glucose and carbon dioxide and energy will be released so this process is called as cellular respiration what is cellular respiration the process by which cell breaks down the glucose molecule to produce carbon dioxide and energy is called res cellular respiration so these are the five steps present in respiration process so here this is the first step and here second step second step occurs exchange of gases between the alveoli and blood next uh, third step movement of gases or transport of gases from alveolus to the cell and cell to the alveolus next fourth step exchange of gases between blood and cell exchange of oxygen from blood into the cell and exchange of carbon dioxide from cell into the blood now fifth step that is cellular respiration what is cellular respiration cell will breaks down the glucose molecule by using the oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and energy this process is called cellular respiration so these are the five steps present in respiration process